Hello and welcome to another AIC video. So I mentioned in one of my last videos that I'm currently in the process of, I've, I've moved, I'm in my new house and I have a new office space, but the house I bought is actually a small, it's a small property. Um, and when I say small, I mean it's small compared to what properties can be. Uh, I live on about two and a half acres of land now. And with that, it's a fairly large, basically meadow area. So a lot of grass to mow. And when I bought the house, the owners, the previous owners were moving to a much smaller place and they left this guy for me. This is a 19, can't tell if it's a 96 or 98. Um, it says the year is made as 96, but it looks like a 98 model year based off the model number. Not 100% sure, but uh, they left this for me to use. And it is a fine lawn tractor or riding lawn mower. Um, it is a uh, parallel twin, I believe. Uh, Briggs and Stratton, it's got 8.5 horsepower, a 42 inch deck. Uh, but what it does not have is much more than that. It is a mower. That's all it can do. It has a little hook in the back. I'll go around to the back and come around to the back here. And you can see, sorry for the poor lighting. This little hole here is meant for a pin to go in and you can have a little bracket or something that goes around there that um, growing up, we had a similar one of these that we used to tow around um, carts, four wheel carts to carry stuff on. You can see the little axle that it has. They're very small. And the wheel is only being held on by a single nut. And it's just pressure fitted on there. Uh, it's got 20 inch tires in the back. I think they're 16 inch or 10 inch tires in the front. Let's go around. What are these? Five by, is that eights? I think that's an eight there. No, six. I don't know. They're not very big is what they are. Um, and it's fine. Again, this is fine for mowing. Uh, but it needs a lot of maintenance. So the people that owned this house before me, pretty old couple, pretty poor health. And so they let a, th a lot of things go that shouldn't have been. And so this needs basically an overhaul. It's burning a lot of oil. Um, Need spark plugs, belts, all that jazz. And so it needs about $1,000 worth of work put into it. And so I kind of looked around to see what my options were. And there's kind of five levels to yard machinery. You have lawnmowers like this guy here. Then you have riding lawnmowers, which are basically this with a slightly bigger engine and a seat on top. Then you have yard tractors which this kind of falls under that yard tractor. It's kind of on the verge of a riding lawnmower yard tractor because it can tow something, a little something. And then you step up to a garden tractor, which we're, this is what the main focus of this video is. Uh, and from there, you actually get up to an actual tractor. So I don't have the money straight up for an actual tractor. Uh, they start at like $11,000 for no implements. Like that's just a bare minimum tractor. You're looking, once you add a mower deck and a few other things, you're looking at like $20,000 plus for an actual tractor. But a garden tractor gets you like 75% of the way there for like 25% of the money. And that's what this is. This is a garden tractor. It's a Husqvarna or Husqvarna. I always say that wrong. Husqvarna or a Husky. Um, TS 354XD. Now, the three is their three series and the 54 stands for the size of the deck, which honestly, if I could have gotten the, I think they had a 348, which is a 48 inch deck. I probably would have gone with that because this is a bit ridiculous size on here, especially the chute. Like the chute is almost bigger than the deck is <laughs> on the old mower. It's ginormous. Um, I'm probably going to cut that cut that smaller because just driving around, I banged it on literally everything tonight, um, just moving this around. 
So what makes this different? Obviously, there is a physical size difference. It is huge compared to this guy. Part of that's just marketing, more manly. But part of it really is something. There's more to it. So let's kind of walk around. Uh, first things first, under the hood, it has, instead of a Briggs and Stratton, it has a Kawasaki engine. Uh, it's good for 24 horsepower, but more importantly, 40 foot pound of torque at a pretty low, like 2000 RPM. So a lot of torque at low RPMs. Um, and so it, it's a pretty gutsy motor. If you look at a lot of uh, tractors, they have very low horsepower. Uh, a lot of them are diesel. So they have low horsepower numbers, but high torque at low RPM. And that's really what you're going for is a lot of torque because you're not racing around corners. You're, you're tugging, pulling, and pushing at low speeds. Next thing is, is obviously it has bigger tires, both up front and in back. So that has 20 inch tires. This has 23 inch tires, but they're also 10 inches wide versus eight inches wide. And that bigger size, it gives you a lot more contact patch on the ground, meaning you could put more torque to the ground. You also look, and instead of having just that one bolt in the center, it's like a car where it has actual lug nuts. So I, I didn't measure it on the other mower, but this has a one inch axle on it. Um, the step down from this, the 248, uh, so the TS 248 XD, which basically is the same mower, it has um, a transaxle with only a three quarter inch axle and is not rated for nearly as much power and torque to the ground. Coming around to the back, for now, this also just has a hook here, but you can see how this has a little bit more space and it's a little bit bigger. I actually have something that hooks onto here that is a sleeve hitch. So it kind of sits over the top of this and allows you to have more implements uh, on this uh, tractor. And I can show that in another video when I've installed it. It literally, both of them just showed up today and I've only had time to put this in the garage. It's now almost nine o'clock at night and I'm pretty tired. So we'll play with this more another day. Some more differences about this. Um, you have a much bigger gas tank. Uh, I believe this is a four gallon tank. A lot of the lawn tractors and riding mowers have more like a two gallon tank. Anyways, it has a much bigger gas tank on it. So that way you can run longer, uh, do more jobs. Coming around here, obviously because it's more expensive, they give you some more creature comforts. You can see this is a much taller, more comfy seat. It has armrests that articulate. It has cruise control. These are your forward and back controls. Um, it has an electronic engagement for the blades instead of a lever or mechanical action. Um, it has a locking differential. So what that does is it locks or can lock the two rear wheels together. It makes it much harder to turn, but if you're pulling or pushing, say like a snow plow um, or a heavy cart behind or whatever, it locks these together to give you much better grip. If you're on uneven ground, it locks them together for better grip. Uh, it also has a bigger chassis. It weighs a lot more. And like in a car, weight is kind of the enemy. You don't want heavy cars. Uh, but in a tractor, weight is good because weight gives you traction in the loose dirt and gravel. And so this weighs probably half again as much as that one. So that probably weighs between three, 400 pounds. This weighs close to 700 pounds. So it's a lot heavier of a machine, which gives you more traction on the ground. Uh, what else? They sell a lot of implements that are specific to this. Like I said, the sleeve hitch. Um, there's a bucket that can go on the front. Uh, there's a snow plow that can go on the front. There's um, a box, um, like a dirt dragger thing in the back. So there's just a lot of things that this is meant to do that that smaller one was never meant to do. So 
Again, is it a replacement for a tractor? A real tractor? Absolutely not. But I'm not running a farm here, but I am doing work here. And so, and it will snow here. And um, I have things I need to get done. And this should, should being an operative word, be able to do most all of it. At least that's how it is advertised. One thing that I didn't realize it came with, which I think is kind of funny, comes with a 12 volt. So anyways, a little cigarette lighter outlet for, uh, for a, additional accessories, something again, none of the lawn tractors come with because they just aren't meant for the same amount of work. Anyways, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Um, looking forward to using this for actual work tonight, uh, in the future and hoping the, that it will meet my needs. Um, obviously, I don't know yet. Uh, the reviews are real mixed online of what it can and can't do. A lot of people say it's not up to the tasks that I have planned for it. Um, we shall see. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.